Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. In part 3 of our C Sharp Selenium series, we will be adding support for AngularJS to our existing framework using the Protractor library. We will also be using the AngularJS site for testing purposes. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below as we upload lots of testing related videos each week on a wide range of topics from integrating AI into testing to setting up automation frameworks in multiple languages. With that out of the way, let's get into what we'll be covering in today's video. In order to add Angular support to our existing framework, we need to do a couple things. First thing we'll do is add our protractor dependency, then we will create our Angular UI test, and then finally we will run our test and verify that it works. First thing we need to do is go over to dependencies. We'll take a look at our NuGet package. As you can see, we don't have the protractor dependencies, so you could right click on dependencies, select manage NuGet packages. From the manage NuGet packages window, search protractor, check the box, and select add package. As you can see, protractor has been added to my dependencies. Next, we can add our tests. So I'll right click on tests, click add, new file, and we're going to name this file Angular Test. Click OK. I'm going to start by deleting all of the automatically generated code here. We'll add our using statement for nUnit.framework using protractor, using system, and using system.threading. We'll create our namespace, do selenium tests dot tests. Inside there we'll do a public class angular test. I'm going to inherit from base test. We'll do a public angular test string browser and then have base and pass in our browser. We'll add our test context. Add a category. For category we're going to pass in Angular. Create a public void Angular test underscore example. Inside that block, we'll do a using var driver equals initialize driver. Inside that block, we will do a try statement. So we'll do try Inside the try block, we'll do a driver dot manage dot timeouts dot asynchronous JavaScript equals time span dot from seconds, and we'll pass in a five. Next, we'll do a using statement for the ng driver. So we'll do using var ng driver equals new ng web driver. And we'll pass in driver. Inside that block, we'll do our steps. So we will do ng driver dot URL. We'll pass in the AngularJS site, so we'll do HTTP www.angularjs.org. 
Next we'll do a thread.sleep. We'll set it to 2,000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. Next we'll do a ng driver dot find element. We'll do use ng by dot modal and we'll pass in the modal name. For this scenario we'll be looking for your name. Dot send keys and we'll pass in the name Julie. Then we'll do another thread dot sleep. Next we'll do an assert. So we'll do assert dot r equal We'll validate that it says hello Julie exclamation point. Then we will do ng driver dot. Oops, let me fix that real quick. ng driver dot find element ng by dot binding. And then we'll pass in the your name dot text. And finally, we'll do a thread dot sleep. With that done, we can now close our try statements. So we'll do a finally, and we'll simply just print the logs from our common utils method. With that done, we should be ready to actually run the test and validate that our framework now supports Angular. So I'll save it. I'll go down to tests. Don't see it, so I'm going to rebuild. So the test shows up. There's our Angular test example, so I'll right click that, run test. As you can see, the browser's opened. It is now navigating to angularjs.org. And as you can see, it entered Julie, and then hello Julie was shown there. So it's, the test was successful. And with that, we have now added support for Angular into our existing framework. We did so by adding the dependencies protractor and then creating the Angular UI test using the ng web driver and then running and verifying that the test was successful. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below as we upload lots of testing related videos each week on a wide range of topics from integrating AI into testing to setting up automation frameworks in multiple languages. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.